No, you tell sorry, sir. My mistake. I pressed leave and I did not have to take back. Yes. Uh, good evening to everyone. You have to just keep your mics on mute so that uh, we can talk. Okay. Otherwise, it will be uh, echoing a lot. Okay. Welcome to the first center hour of the session, guys. I hope uh, you are doing good. You are safe and uh, enjoying your quarantine life. So uh, we have lots of people joined today. So across uh, all the NPSs, NPS branches, we have people joining in here. So that's really amazing. So you, you will get a chance to interact with all the people across the, you know, NPS. Okay, great. So uh, yes, NAFL also, NAFL people are also there. So all ninth graders of Bangalore city, the brightest people here are here. So let's try to, uh, you know, enjoy and uh, use your talent to work on some problems and then yeah so here there are protocols there are some rules in this game so the first rule is no one talks amongst yourself uh, cross discussion of any problem is not allowed sorry we have to maintain some kind of uh, um, you know protocol otherwise it will be very difficult to uh, run the session okay so there are a few protocols all of you anyways know those who are interacting with me so you have to say yes yes or no no how by saying why, 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 why is, why is yes, right? So all of me give me a thumbs up by saying why. So whenever you want to say why, you'll have to say, you know, uh, or you have to, uh, let's say yes, you have to say why. So when you want to say no, you have to say N, right? So how do you say that is N, right? And uh, the other protocol is um, uh, whenever you are answering any question, so you have to mention the question number, that is one slash whatever uh, or one option A, B, C, Yes, so everyone has to, uh, another, another uh, very no, important thing, cool. you have to put your mic on. Okay, so you have to put your mic on mute. Otherwise, it will be difficult for me to uh, run it. Okay, so always remember, maybe many a times what happens is you, uh, by mistake, the mic is kept unmute or whenever you come back uh, after logging in, you know, after logging out, let's say. So again, uh, your mic is on mute. Okay, so once again, I'm saying first of all, uh, welcome everyone. Second is we have some protocols, some rules of the game. The rules are whenever you understood anything and I ask whether you understood, you have to say why, right? So just let's do a demo. All of you type why, right? So why means? Yes, so that's the, you know, because I am not able to see you. So hence, uh, your reactions are only through your text. Okay. Next, when you have to say no, for example, if I ask the question, hey, whether you understood, you have to say no, then you have to say N, and, 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 and. Many a times, many a times because of the flurry of messages, which, you know, uh, which pass through. So let's say if you, if I did not notice on any one of yours, you know, um, responses, so when the messages stop, what you can do is you can always retype your, right? okay, so hence again, so as I request you, keep requesting you, please keep everyone on mute mode, okay, so everyone has to be on mute mode, always, now I, some technical issues might be there, so it will settle down, it at, at times it is because of the uh, internet variation, speed variation and things like that, so don't worry. Everything anyways is recorded just in case if you miss something uh, do not worry and uh, You will get the sessions, you know recording and all that but yes try to be in the game as much as possible because uh, During first few sessions. We'll try to calibrate that is you know, we'll see how you are responding and Basis that we also have a system of uh, making a leaderboard on the go so hence hence all of you, you know uh, uh, must answer your uh, you know uh, queries very patiently and uh, carefully and uh, you know it's not about any competition over here enjoy the session in terms of let's say you know uh, this is another opportunity for you to interact with your peers and you know different approaches of problem solving and uh, mostly we will avoid teaching anything here because you know we have anyways doing in the morning sessions this will be primarily dedicated only to problem solving so you know uh, you will be solving different types of problems 
right now it is an mcq mode there will be few questions which will be not in mcq mode so in that case you'll have to write also so that we will you know graduate as we go ahead we'll see how we can do that so all of you are ready so I understood you have to keep your mics on mute all the time if you re-log in please check whether your mic is inadvertently left as unmute so that you know because a lot of echo okay folks so i believe all of you have started uh, doing number system correct at you know in every every batch we have discussed number system so what i am going to do is we are going to solve a few problems some some problems may be you know a little easier one in the sense uh, since this is a warming up session in terms of you know this is the first session of our pure so in, in the very first session we really don't want to get into a very high level of uh, questions and so problems all of you uh, i believe would be having a piece of paper or in fact as i have suggested to my people and since those people who are attending with me that you must have a small log book or a you know a notebook where you put your dates on that you know put your date on the you know uh, yeah on, on the book uh, right you haven't written in a month don't worry now you'll write more so uh, get a notebook and put the date and uh, now you will be solving one by one so here you go so whenever you are you know uh, when you see the question the thing is you will have to um, mention your answer right so right now uh, for the first few sessions we'll just see if we can really because there are lots of people so when we create leaderboard it takes some time so hence you have to give us that time and hence to register your answer you have to say 1a 1b 1c 1d like that or 2a 2b 2c 2d right so just a demo so for example 3b how will you write 3b right 3b so yeah question number 3b like that so what we'll do is we will see who answered first the first five uh, answers are taken into consideration and the leaderboard is prepared like that and we will publish the results uh, we are trying to do it live as well there is a mechanism but right now in the first session we are not doing it but then we will be creating a leaderboard as well so all of you are ready shall we proceed so give me a why if you are ready okay very good so here you go guys so the first question of the centimar first you know first session of uh, first session of this session is this which of the following is not a composite number Achha, by the way, there could be many, many, you know, more than one correct also. So hence, this is not a regular MCQ. So please, so once again, which of the following? Sir, is, yes. Sir, yeah. I'm Sunena here. I can't see your screen well. Uh, Sunena, you have to just re-log in. There, there's, you know, um, you have to just re-log in and come back. You know, so no problem. We'll wait. Come on. Just re-log in because it happens because of you know, fluctuating internet. Okay, yeah. So which of the following is not a composite number, guys? So... What is your answer? So there are multiple. All are not not a composite number. All are not a composite number. Okay, A, B, C, D. Okay, all many many of you. So hence your your answer has to be one A, B, C, D like that. So don't say all and all. Whatever whatever is the uh, the answer is as in you know whichever combination you feel you'll just write one A, B, C, D, one A, B, C, one B, C, D. Whatever. No other comment. Okay. Okay. Now, so answer I will discuss later and then we'll, you know, you, you first register your answer. Post that I will discuss the problem. So all registered, done. So whenever, say, whenever I say done, so I will write done. And after that, that will not be registered. Okay. So you, I am giving you one more minute. Register all your answers. Once you register, I will say done and then that will not be registered. So hence, okay. So still people are writing. Okay. 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 Now, anyways. Now I will say done. So one is done. After that, uh, no answer will be registered. Okay. Done. So one is done. Okay. Now see the answer is, so answer is which of the following is not a composite number. So zero and one are definitely not a composite number. They are not neither composite nor prime. So, but then they definitely satisfy the, um you know criteria that they are not composite numbers so zero is not definitely one is not definitely because one is neither composite nor prime two is prime three is prime so none of them are composite numbers so those who have said all a b c d okay yep so you understood so this is from your eighth grade or maybe you know before that also right so the first answer is all are not 
composite okay next which of the following is not a prime number so which of the following is not a prime number again it could be more than one correct okay so hence choose your options very very carefully choose your options very very carefully which of them is not a prime number okay so hence yeah register your register your now there are so many people so hence i will not be able to do it online so for that we have to activate our online uh, leaderboard thing but never mind so yes yes so i am now saying all of you have registered so two is done okay so two done now after that no more registrations okay so which of the following is not a prime number is zero a prime guys what is the prime number what is the prime number a prime number first of all has to be a natural number so zero is out of that boundary so zero is not a prime number for sure one is not a prime number for sure why because the definition of prime number says there has to be two factors one the number one itself and the factor and the number itself right so zero and one zero and one doesn't fit into that criteria so ruled out two definitely all of you know is the lowest possible prime number so two is definitely a prime and 10 is not a prime it's a composite because there are factors 1 2 5 and 10 yes guys those who have kept your mic on mute please try to put it on mute always on mute okay yes now is it okay so very good question number 2 is done i hope all of you have done it correctly this is the third one so here is a different question maybe you have not seen this so take your time and answer which of the following Oh, sorry there's a there's a grammatical mistake so you just rule this out which of the following cannot be an even number cannot be an even number so take your time and then then write okay so many people are already responding there could be more than one correct so please take care that yep cannot be an even number so many people are around c and d so thankfully no one is saying a and b so they are very, you are very clear that a and b are not going to be an even number okay 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 30 seconds more 30 seconds more register your responses register your responses okay okay fair enough fair enough compulsory or chance did i didn't understand monisha what did you mean yes no in any case they should not be in any case that's what when we say cannot be so can it be or cannot you know it cannot be so it cannot be an even so you have to find out which which case it cannot ever be an even number okay guys so here your time ends and three is done right so there's a marker three is done now now your time is over guys next time always write first so you need to just register once your first response is anyways counted and even if you try to correct it that will not be counted you can you know uh, type in your answer but hence hence i'm saying you have to be correct please be correct while you are you now take your time no need to hurry so even if others are doing it fast no worries you take your time your idea should be get it correct first improve your accuracy We'll work on speed later on. Okay, that's question number three for you. Next question number four. Which of the following is more than one? Maybe answers are more than one is correct. More than one can also be correct. Which of the following is more than one? Oh, so people are pretty smart and fast here. That's really amazing. That's really, really amazing. Very good. Take 30 seconds, 30 seconds more. So this is a very simple answer so now you guys are warmed up i believe you should be able to now you know run okay very good so your 30 seconds, last 10 seconds so those who want to register you know all these questions will have catch guys so hence read the question very very carefully and then answer so which of the following is more than one okay okay fair enough so your Question number four is now done. Okay, so done. Question number four is done. Yes, answer is 200% because 10%, 50%, 100% all are. 100% is equal to 1, 100 upon 100. 
10% is you know it is 0.1, 50% is 0.5, and 200% is more than one. So it is two, right? This is two. This is one. This is one. This is 0.5, and this is 0.1. Fair enough. So those who have marked D, they are correct. Oh, did I discuss this question? Yes, this question I did not discuss. So answer I will discuss now. Clearly, this is not an even. Why? Because there is a factor of two. You can take a two common, and hence it is never ever uh, even. Whatever is the value of n, it will never be even. Uh, sorry, it will. Uh, sorry, it will always be an even. I'm sorry. It is always it is always an even. Always an even because it has a factor of two. Same logic here. It is always an even. Right. Always, and it is. I have already stated that it is a positive integer. If n was any other rational number or something like that, then you would have questioned it. But since n is a positive integer, so 24 n plus 10 is always even. Now here is where the doubt comes, right? 29, and if you see, I can take n com 29 common, and I can write n plus 2, isn't it? Right? 29 n plus 2. Here is where the doubt arises. This is certainly not even. This is an odd number. This is odd number. Why? Because 10 multiplied by multiplied by any number is an even number. 10 multiplied by any number is an even number, and hence, if you subtract one from it, you will get an odd number. Correct. But here, if n is even. Let's say n itself is even. For example, if n is four, right? What will happen? Then the entire thing will become even, right? If n is odd, n is odd. Let's say n is three, then this becomes odd because then in, in that case it will be twenty nine into five odd. So here there's a possibility of this being an even as well as an odd. So hence. I had asked, cannot be an even, but this can be even. What is the condition? N has to be, n has to be even. In that condition, in that condition, this will be an even number. No, I'm saying cannot be even number. It it should not be an even number. So there are cases where this will be an even number. Okay. So hence, answer is D. Okay. Fair enough. Next question number five. Ready? Question number five, and here is the question. So take your time. Don't get you know get tempted and you know jump on to the conclusion. Take your time. Read the question carefully because there will be nuances in the question also. Okay, here you go. And always remember, more than one can also be correct. Next question. Here is it. Here it is. Now, if omega, this sign is called omega. If omega means per five hundred, it's not percent per five hundred. Then which of the following is equal to forty-five percent? Let me see who answers this first. Okay, so there's flurry of answers there. Very good, very good. Thirty seconds. Thirty more seconds to go. Okay. Very good. Very good. All of you have to mention the number, question number. Otherwise, I will not be able to keep track. Hmm. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. So here is your time in. So five is done, right? Five done. Okay. Very good. Those who have said two twenty five omega is correct. So answer is B. Two twenty five. Why? Because what is percent? So 45% is 45 upon 100, and now you have to convert it into the base of 500. That is right. The denominator is 500. Per 500, you have to calculate. Correct. So here you see the 100 is going to 500. How many times? Five times. So similarly, if you have to get a equivalent fraction, you have to multiply five times 45. So five times 45 is 225, and hence this answer is. Correct. Very good, Tanvi. Right. So hence, you know, and omega, by the way, is a Greek letter. Greek, Greek letter. Okay. Greek letter. Later on, you will see it will be yes, yes, resistance. It will be good, Anush. 
so later on it is going to be symbol for resistance okay question number 5 done good good going good going guys next let's go to question number 6 number of integers between minus 129 upon 25 and plus 129 upon 25 are Mm -hmm. Again, read the question carefully. All of you are wrong. All of you are wrong. So first answer comes from Abhishek. <laughs> read the question carefully, Mihika, dear. Six. Question number six. Answer is... So now you have learned what did you do wrong here. All of you just blindly jumped on to the question thinking that it is a typical, all of them are correct, no? Okay, so yeah, in a way, yes. But then number of integers, right? You have to be the precise number, all right? Number of integers between, right? So here, you understand? You understand where you went wrong? Most of you, when you said D, you are you are accustomed of typical questions yes so hence now i'm saying question number six question number six is done and the answer is answer is 11 answer is 11 okay answer is 11 not minus 4 to 4 minus 5 to 5 right so this li this answer lies in the concept of number line so you have a number line you have you might have studied this the questions will not be direct guys so hence you have to be ready so hence here is 0 minus 129 upon 25 or 20, 129 upon 25 will be 5 point something so whatever it is it is greater than 5 right so here is 5 here is 129 by 5 25 whatever is the value I'm not interested and here is minus 5 and here is minus 129 upon 5. This is based on where are the number placed on the number line. Now, between these two numbers, how many integers are there, guys? Minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. And then 1, and then 2, and then 3, and then 4, and then 5. So, answer is 11. So, hence, most of you jumped onto this and then you got it wrong. Again, again saying, these questions will be not straightforward please read the question twice you know and then answer okay so here is next question take a deep breath calm calm down read the question and then go for it question number seven guys is here on your screen number of rational numbers between the same two numbers are <clears throat> read the options once I told you it could be more than one, correct? I told you it could be more than one, correct? So hence read the answers also. So don't just jump on. Mm -hmm. Okay, 30 seconds more. Fifteen more. Register your answer. So once you have registered, you're, you're done. <laughs> Anush, you can't change it. Even if you have enough patience to count, you will not be able to count. But you know, because because it will never. Okay. Anyways, I'll 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 this I'll share the answer with you. Anyways, so your time is up. And question number seven is done. Okay, seven is done. Answer is infinitely many. So most of you have correctly said it. It is definitely fixed, not fixed in number. Not fixed in number. You can't really have a 2000 numbers between minus 129 and 20. You know, all these two given numbers. This is not there. Why? Because there are infinitely many points between any two points. Isn't it? So if you, if you see the number line, this is 0. So let's say this is minus 129 upon 25. And this is plus 129 upon 25. There are millions and billions and trillions of, you know, points between these two points A and B. So you can't really count. So hence, many for sure, but can be counted is wrong. You can't count them. 
limited but cannot be counted is also wrong. There's no limited, unlimited numbers, right? So infinitely many is the right answer. Okay. So ready? Let's go to question number eight. And now this is not an MCQ. You have to tell me the answer. So we have to find out numbers which are equally spaced. Read the question. Equally spaced between five by nine and two by three. You just not you can't just really put any five numbers that will be easy you have to give five numbers which are equally spaced so now the intensity of the questions will start increasing from here on so equally spaced is the catch please please take care of this I hope all of you are clear on what equally spaced is equally spaced is this that if you have two numbers here and here the five numbers which you are going to put should be equally placed like that the distance between all of them should be equal okay so this must be equal to this must be equal to this must be equal to like that so here I have shown five you have to insert yes you have to, you have to get five numbers I here I have shown four one two three and four so these are the two numbers a and b you have to insert only one, Anuya, five, five you have to. So here is the first, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55 by 90. Okay, so this is one answer I am getting. Okay. Ah, so Krishna is saying something and that looks interesting. So, okay, good, very good, very good. Okay. And there are lots of people. Arushi also is coming with 31 by 54. So lots of people are 6 by 9, 7 by 9, 8 by 9, 10 by 9, 11 by 9. No, sorry, that's wrong. Nikita, okay, 51 by 90, 52 by 90. All of them are doing like that, okay. So two types of answers are coming. 30 by 54. I think 30 by 54 will not be included because 30 by 54 itself is 5 by 9. Okay. Good. So lots of people have 17 by 30. Uh, looks little. Okay. We'll see. Okay. So fair enough. All of you have done it. All of you have done it. If anyone has any answer, please register. Please register. Okay. So lots of people are saying 51 by 90, 52 by 90 and all that. Okay. Okay. Now. Fair enough. Thank you. Thank you. So here you go. Yes. Yes. Now. So question number. What was that? Eight. Eight is. All done. All of you have done. Yes. Eight is now done. Over. Okay. No more answering. No more answering. Okay. Thanks. So guys. Hence I told you equally spaced is very important. That means whatever you are saying. So one definitely, you know, one answer definitely is the minimum possible answer is whatever many people have said 31 by 54 and all that. That looks correct. Why and how to solve this? So uh, 5 by 9 and 2 by 3. So first of all, make the denominator common. It will be 6 upon 9. Is it correct? So 5 by 9 and 6 upon 9. Right. So the two numbers are 5 by 9 and 6 by 9. Right. Now you have to insert how many? Five numbers five numbers between them whenever such thing happens what you do is you simply multiply the denominator by five plus one or whatever is the number of numbers you have to insert multiply that by five plus one right so hence you have multiplied both numerator and denominator so if you multiply denominator you'll get 54 and if you multiply the this thing numerator you'll get 30 at one end and here, if you see, if you do the same thing, it will become 36 and 54. So those who are saying about 50, 51 by 90 and all that, they are not equally spaced. They are definitely between the two numbers that is 5 by 9 and 2 by 3, but they are not equally spaced. Equally spaced means the gap between the two numbers should be same. Should be same. Okay, so I have to insert 5. So just let me say, or let me take this number 36 by 54 little white little you know away so 36 by 54 and i have to find 1 2 3 4 
5. Clearly, if you see, now it's very, very obvious that 31 upon 54 is 1 away, right? 1 unit. 32 upon 54, 33 upon 54, and 34 upon 54, and 35 upon 54. All of them are equally spaced, isn't it? The gap between each one of each, each, each gap is equal to 1 upon 54. Each gap is 1 upon 54 long. 1 upon 54 long, 1 upon 54 long. So hence, that was the question. That was the question. So any other thing will not satisfy. The only thing you can otherwise do, would have done is, you can, you know, increase the denominator equ equally. So let's say if you double it, yes, you have to. I'm saying these are, this is the, you know, this is the starting point. And yes, Mihika, you have to reduce it into the, the simplest form, but then the, many of them who are, you know, so the first number has to be 31 by 54, right? Okay, and then, so these are the numbers. You can simplify them to get the simplest form. Okay, is that okay? So hence, other answers will not be correct. Other set of answers, let's say if you don't want these kind of numbers, you want another set, you could have simply doubled the denominator to, let's say, 108. So what would happen? This will become 60. And here, this will become 72 upon 108 now you can have a gap of 2 yes you can yes you can definitely you can sunaina no problems in that but then you have to have the now if you see this will be 62 upon 108 then 64 upon 108 then 66 upon 108 then 68 upon 108 then 70 upon 108 all of them are again equally spaced see the criteria was this you can make the denominator whatever you want but the criteria has to be fulfilled equally spaced is that okay so this was question number eight guys let's go to question number nine which one of the following is always true so let me highlight because you guys are reading the question very very superficially so hence always true for two numbers a and b where a is greater than b Variety of variety of answers are coming. Depends on A and B. Oh my God! Okay. Hmm. Now there was a there was a catch here, and hmm. Okay, two two are true. Okay, okay. Take your time. Take your time. A C A okay okay so here is your so last 15 seconds register your answers register your answers 9A okay so here is your time up and I am writing time up 9 is done 9 is done okay 9 is done A is greater than B yes so Clearly, first two options are ruled out. If you didn't notice, first two options are not correct. Yes, now Srijan is saying none. Now, A is not greater than B. A, sorry, A is greater than B. So, how can this be true? Not true. Because it says B is greater than something which is greater than A. Right? So, this is not true. Is that true? When this is not true, this cannot be. A is... A is given to be greater than B. It is not equal to B in any case. So this is also not true. This is also not true. Now, if A is greater than B, then can A be greater than A plus B by 2? So can, can this be possible? All, But then this is, the question was always true. Always true. Okay, what if A is 1, B is 0? 
then it is true for this one let's say what is any any this you know one number any one number uh, yeah so that's what the question was right so hence for the third one if a is let's say one and b is zero there is no mention whether it is a positive quantity non zero quantity or whatever so i can take whatever right a one b zero only criteria should be a should be greater than b correct and it is satisfying and if i somehow prove that this is this doesn't work so you know so hence yes so now that that was the catch so none of them must, so this is definitely not correct why because this will be false zero is not greater than one by two so this is definitely not always true so all these are ruled out now can it depend on a and b can can i do something where where a being greater than b can become let's say b can become greater than a plus b by 2 this is also not possible ever not possible you know how is how is that not possible right now you can take some values and see but this is algebraically provable that is not possible so if the number is negative that's that's something interesting okay okay if the number is negative which number so both the numbers are negative how does it how does it matter because you know we have a greater than b so there also one is greater than b so b will never be greater than a plus so okay so let's say b is greater than c here now see the proof b is greater than a by 2 plus b by 2 i can write right like, on the right hand side now if you if you take this b by 2 here on the left hand side what will it become it will become b by 2 is greater than a by 2 isn't it b by 2 is greater than a by 2 that means b is greater than a which is false which is false because a was greater than b right so this will always be right so it will not depend on a and b either so hence none was correct so i was just trying to see whether you actually so this is a welcome to the another welcome to this world especially those who are going to write olympiads and all please be mindful there could be a question which doesn't have a right answer or they, it might not be correct so even if you prove that it is not correct prove that the statement is wrong even if you are asked to prove the otherwise you will be rewarded or awarded with relevant or you know reasonable amount of marks so hence come out of the mode of that everything has to be so hence challenge each and everything whatever is coming your way okay ready for the next question ready give me your thumbs up all of you we are halfway down very good very good let's go to question number 10 guys yeah now what Oh, uh, sorry. This is the same question. Sorry, question number eleven. Yeah, which of the following statements are true? Which of the following statements are true? Again, read the care. More than one could be correct. So, hence, please, 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 read the question and then comment. <clears throat> Take your time read the questions correctly Hmm I I I saw one 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 okay now now I'm getting my answers very good very good very good B is not. Hmm. 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 Now after you take some time to actually settle down. First you jump on to conclusion, then you take it down. So you now understanding your trend, right? So you have to control that. Now people are saying, "Yep, very good, very good." Any others? Then fifteen, fifteen more seconds, guys. Fifteen more seconds to go. Right. Write your answers. Write your answers quick, 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 quick. Last. Seven seconds and 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 and. So done. Question number eleven is over. So you can stop mentioning your 
done 11 is done now if you see all of you started with all are correct which is a wrong option why because you rightly pointed out later on that this is not true this is not true because if you see you don't need to actually so those people who started calculating you should have acted smart what do you what do you need to do you just cover these three digits last three digits right right so it is approximately 18 upon 19 right it is definitely closer to 1 than 2.8 right 18 upon 19 so 19 times 9 if you see is 171 so that means 17 upon or 17.1 upon 19 is 0.9 guys and this number is on the right side of this 17.1 by 19 so how can it be closer to 0.8 it will be closer to 1 so you don't need to Rishabh Jairaj don't do that please that's not allowed anything which is spamming is not allowed please let's maintain the protocols no spamming guys okay so this is this is untrue this is definitely true 11 by 19 you see you can see is closer to 0.6 because it's 0.57 approximately okay okay and hence 1 by 6 is closer to minus 1 very clear you can you know draw the number line and you can see this so this is 0 this is 2 and this is minus 1 and where is 1 by 6 it is here so this is 1 so here 0 0.16 approximately that so clearly this gap is much more than this one so hence this is true so the answer is a and C right so those who have marked A and C is correct let's go to question number 12 read the question carefully again read at least twice Arnav and Shruti are standing on 5 by 6. That is that is the number line. We are talking about number line. They are standing on 5 by 6 point. Okay. On a number line. Arnav jumps 5.5 units along the positive direction and Shruti jumps 3 units in the negative direction. Which of the following statement is or are true? Okay. So people are writing there. Yeah. Very good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, so there are lots of uh, similar answers. Mm -hmm. Nice to see that. Very good. Very good. Very, very good. Very, very good. Good. So last 15 seconds to you. 15, 14, 12, 13, sorry. Then 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four three two one and stop so here is question number 12 done okay no <laughs> siddhant no one can wait yeah sorry next time so 12 is done no more answers and the answer to question number 12 is b and c okay so those who have got b and c so shruti will not cross zero right so this is a, you have to find out true statement. This is false because Shruti will cross zero, right? So Shruti will definitely cross zero. Why? Because if you draw the number line again, this is zero and uh, someone started from fifth, of, this is one or let me draw a longer number line here. Okay. This is zero. This is one, two, three, four, five, and then six like that. And then minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 like that. Right? So hence from 0 and this is 5th of 5 by 6. This is 5 by 6, isn't it? If this is 1, this is 5 by 6. So uh, Arnav jumps 5.5 units. So hence clearly if you add 5.5 to it, it will cross 5. Right? And in fact, it will cross 6 as well. It will cross 6 as well. So here is 6. It will cross 6. Okay, so Arna will not cross 6 is false. Shruti will, uh, now Shruti has taken 3 units jump, right? So hence from here, so she will some, be somewhere here. But the question is, 
Shruti will not cross zero is wrong. Arnav will not cross zero is oh is true because Arnav goes towards the right of zero. Shruti will cross minus one is correct because she is crossing minus one, and Arnav will not cross six is zero because he is crossing six. So hence B and C are correct. Okay, so B and C. Very good, guys. Those who have responded. Time for question number thirteen. Decimal representation of five times twenty-three point five percent is. Come on, yeah. So first answer is here. Monisha is already. Monisha is her. Oh, okay. Harsh, Rishab, good. Tanvi, Sidan, Janvi, Hansika, Pradyuman, Tarun. Very good. Krish, very good. Risha, Nitya. Everyone is writing. Very good. This was an easy one. Now a new topic, so hence easier one. Easier one. Very good. Very good. Last 15 seconds for all of you. 15, 14, 13, 12. Eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. So here you go. Thirteen is done, right? And the answer is answer is definitely D. Very good, very good, very good. Definitely a D Y because five into twenty three point five percent is twenty three by hundred, and this is nothing but if you do the calculations, it becomes uh, how much? If you see one one seven point five divided by hundred, which is one point one seven five. Good. So question number thirteen was easy. Question number fourteen. Here is the question number fourteen. Easy one. Quick one. Quick. This could be done quick. Okay. Yes, people are good at calculation, so these are very easy ones. Easy one. Easy one. Easy one. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Quick! All of you must must register your answer. Must register your answer. Yes, very good to see that all of you are participating so well. Really heartening, heartening to say. A okay, so 231 by 165 is the answer. I know people are also saying A and all. Uh, check again. Check again. Is it is clearly not less than one. It is it is greater than one. This is not true. It cannot be less than one. It is greater than one. So. So hence now your time's up and this is 14 done. Okay, 14 is done, right? So clearly, if you see this number 231, you don't need to calculate. Also, you can figure out 231 and 165, very close numbers, not that distant. So 165 into 2, if you see, is how much? 330. Right, so not even twice. Right, so this and clearly 231 is 165. So numerator is greater than denominator. So these are ruled out, anyways. Ruled out, right? And this is too big a number. Why? Because if you it is greater than 10, isn't it? And if you see, it would be 231. If you see, uh, 1650 by 165 is 10. So definitely this is also ruled out because here instead of 1650 you had only 231. So you can eliminate also, but otherwise the the formal ways you have to reduce. How? So 231 and 165 both are multiples of three. If you can see, both are multiples of three as well as seven. No, or uh, not seven, three for sure. So if you see three seven and 21 is seven, and there it is three five and five. And then 11, so 7 upon 5, and 7 upon 5 is clearly 1.4. So other way also you could have done this, right? So 14. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. Anyways, so now question number 15 to all of you. Here is the question. Now don't get intimidated by the numbers which are there. So now, so you have to be. So all these sessions are to make you aware of your 
you know aware of your mistakes so that we that's the only there is no competition no you know the intention is not to let you compete and come first and second all that is okay but the major intention is that all of you should be careful should be aware should be able to read questions properly and know where do you make mistakes right so now the answers are 1 upon yeah 15 15 which of the following will have term terminating right it should end it should end yeah it should terminate hmm? which of the following will have terminating decimal representation 15 question number 15 and i told you more than one can be correct so 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 <laughs> no you can't take monisha sorry next time right so it's it's that's that's the message guys when you are answering be careful when you are answering be careful read the question read the options all the options see and the, the advantage of mcq is definitely that you know uh, when it is only one correct then it becomes much easier but exams like j advance are notorious for giving you multiple choice answer so more than one could be correct so you please get accustomed to this kind of testing right so hence don't let anything go without checking okay 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 now your time stops here so hence you have now 15 done okay so i'm writing i'm writing 15 15 done right 15 done 15 is done okay so now answer those you know we have actually you know uh, you know that yeah guys now pay attention to the solution answer is these three 1 2 3 they have terminating decimal representation terminal de decimal not d not d d is not why the presence of 3 is creating the trouble yeah so you know that any number of the form of 1 upon 2 to the power m and 5 to the power n correct yes correct nishan so we have discussed this kind of a number always will have terminating representation terminating decimal terminating decimal okay why because they will you know you can complete the powers of 10 here and you will get a decimal representation so if you see terminating this this is power of 5 so you know only 5 is there i think 1 2 so if you if you take this denominator what is that that is 3 1 2 5 right this number is 5 into 3 1 2 5 actually this is uh, 625 is 5 to the power 4 so 5 and 6 this is 5 to the power 6 if you see isn't it check 5 to the power 6 isn't it 5 to the power 6 is How much is it? Yes, no. Five into five into five into five into five into five into five. Yes, this is five in five to the power six. So hence five to the power six can be written as two to the power zero into five to the power six. So it fulfills this condition, and hence this is not terminating decimal. Similarly, here six two five zero can be written as six two five zero can be written as three one two five into two, which is. 5 to the power 5 into 2 again this form so hence this will also have a terminating decimal this will also have a terminating decimal and this so anyways is given in that form 2 to the power something 5 to the power something okay so this is also terminating but this has a 3 in it so not a terminating right clear to everyone yeah sorry no problem rishab next time guys no problem don't get disheartened lots of questions next question number 16 now you have done this already very very simple straight forward pick 5 second answer 5 second answer less than that yes very good very good quick yep 5 second answer right this is there is no big deal very easy very very easy very very easy is it then come on So I'll give only 15 seconds for this because it's very very easy problem. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. Stop. And turn answer is or let's say this is done. 16, 16 done. 
16 done no problem you just see even if you are facing lag no what you do is type you will not be able to see it type and just push it will come as recorded don't worry it happens at times it happens at times see you know so you know there are lots of classes go on parallelly so it happens at times don't worry when you are not able to see anything just type and press enter it will get recorded it will you know come at the same time don't worry okay fair enough so answer is answer is answer is this answer is answer is 31 upon 99 and why is that we have learned it already that this particular number is of 0.31 bar this is of pure form guys mute 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 always mute once mic is unmuted yeah anyways so 0.31 bar this is a direct method is how to do that remove the decimal and write the number 31 and then in the denominator write as many nines as many were the repeating digits so here number of repeating digits are two so i will write two nines so like that right and you know that if it was 0.41 bar what will this be 0.41 bar is 0.41 bar is what is this answer 41 by 99 very good just remove the decimal count the number of repeating digits and so 313 decimal bar is how much 313 decimal yeah 313 by 999 very good intelligent lot right very good you know this already okay here comes the 17th question 17th 17th Seventeenth. None. Anuja says none. Question number seventeenth. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Rest. Try. Try. Keep answering. Keep answering. All of you. Put forth your answers, no worries. Okay, all of you saying A, someone is saying C, someone is saying none, no one is saying D, no one is even talking about D. Okay, uh, 17A, 17A, 18, no. Okay, okay, so now last 10 seconds 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Stop. Stop. No worries. No worries. Whether you could answer or not, no worries. It's for learning, guys. No worries. Don't worry about whether you could type the answer or not. Okay. Stop. Each now. No problem. No problem. Arushi will take care. Don't worry. So forget about. See, keep the technical things aside. Okay. Don't worry, guys. It happens because lots of you. A lot of you are there so hence uh, it will happen it will settle down don't worry now focus here now no more no more answering no more answering stop you can stop now okay now listen to the you know the solution or let's discuss this solution now here here all of you yeah tell me whether you know it's a it's a rational number or is irrational number if it is rational say r if it is irrational say i Rational or irrational? It's a it's a rational number. It's a very much rational number because it is 3123, 3123, 3123 is repeating. So it's actually 0 0.3123 bar. Okay? It's actually 3123 bar. It's a very much a rational number. And we know that to convert this into a P by Q form, you have to simply count the number of nines. How many digits are there? Four digits after decimal which are repeating so this is the thing so clearly this is true p by q form i said right p 
PYQ form. So this is also true, but then, then I have not mentioned here that P by Q GCD has to be one and all that, right? And yes, if you reduce it, it will also come down to this. Okay, so this also is correct. This also is correct. If it was mentioned, reduce in simplest form, simplest form, then, then this would be correct. Right, so P by Q, P, there is no mention of what is P and Q, right? Yes, lowest is D, but this is also correct. But this certainly is not correct. Certainly is not correct because there is one 9 missing over here. And then here it has been, you know, reduced or one factor of 3 has been reduced, but that 3 factor of 3 has not been taken out from this. Okay. 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 So last question of the evening. I had few more, but never mind. Last question of the evening. Eighteen. Which of the following is a mixed re mixed repeating decimal form? Okay. 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 Eighteen. 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 Forget about lag, Rishabh, just write the answer and click enter, it will come to us anyways. We are receiving the answers, don't worry. You might not be seeing that in your uh, chat box, but we are receiving the, you know, we are receiving, in one second we are receiving some 10-15 answers. Okay? Oh, what happened? Just a minute. Uh, just a minute, guys. Nothing, nothing, just the screen uh, share has stopped, resume it, no problem. No, I didn't stop screen, share screen. Anyways, just a minute. Nothing, it just happened. I touched no, I think that stops. Yeah. Stops. Uh, this thing is still on. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Up, I, start, Karo, please. Like the screen share. Okay. No, guys, system is not crashed. Relax, relax, relax. Anyway, your time of responding to the question was getting ended. So, Yes, it's pretty visible, pretty visible. Yes, guys, so time is there. He's not speaking only. Relax. Relax, please. Be prepared for the physics round day after tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, he's not speaking. Relax. <laughs> Meka, best of luck for you. Sound is not coming, Kushar, sir.
Okay, guys, uh, I am addressing to you on behalf of Tushar. Uh, whatever might be the reason, this is Ankur. Uh, you will hear the same voice on Thursday at similar timings. Good night. Keep yourself safe. Stay in home. Okay. Sure. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, please.